Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Bernard and today's violin lesson is going to be on several pieces from page 21 of the Strictly Strings book, book one. And I want to talk about in this on this page bow distribution. Bow distribution meaning where I'm playing in the bow and how I judge it and compensate for this or that action. First piece I'll play for you goes like this. This piece is number five on the page. And you notice I was doing what's called slurring, where I played two notes under the same stroke. So, and then, so those are um, two quarters, and then the long note is a half note. So two the same length total, in total, one, two, three. So there's the most rudimentary type of bow distribution, where I take this much, and I come back using exactly the same. Now if I played piece number two on the same page, it goes like this. So you notice we have four separate notes then a long note. So in the four separate notes, they all stay pretty close in the same area. And the long note, I go out to the point. Now on the next the next series, I play and recover the bow back to where I started then. So that's a matter of strokes to the point. Reverse it up, down, up, down, back to the frog. Just like this. Another very, very basic kind of bow distribution. All right, now on number seven, we have a little bit, little bit different. Sounds like this. So the first two notes of the piece are slurred. Here we have separate. Here we have two slurs. And then another long one. So I end up toward the point. And then I have slurs, separate, and a long one bringing me back toward the frog. Then we do the same thing. So I'm being I'm getting very comfortable working at the point. Okay. Now the next one is even more extreme. No, this is not going to be, that was number seven, this would be number eight, it goes like this. This is an excellent, excellent piece for bow control, where I have two short notes, long out to the point. Now, the next two quarters, I have to use a lot of bow for the same thing. So I'm making up for being at the point, coming all the way back on just two quarters. They're slurred, but it took me three quarters essentially to get to get to the point. So I play one, two, three, four, one, rest. Now I got two quarters to get back the other way. Then see. So when you when you have your opportunity to practice this, think about these pieces, especially number eight. 
that you're practicing bow distribution and you want to try to recover back toward the frog where you started from. You go to the point and you come back. And it happened several times through this. And, and this is a very, very valuable page, page 21. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this little video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you again on the next video. Take care.